Hey everyone, what's up? This is Simon from the Ionic Academy. In this video, I will show you how you can easily create a nice looking image model for your images, which is also a gallery. So I've started a blank new app and we can go ahead and install this great uh, Ionic gallery model package. And I've also added some images to my assets folder just so we can have something to test out. Um, let's also start our Ionic lab right now and then we can go to the app module and import two things. So first we need to import everything as Ionic uh, and oh, sorry let me bring in this also right um, First of all, let's import the uh, Ionic Gallery. So Ionic Gallery Model from Ionic Gallery Model. There it is. And then we also have to import uh, something to override. So it's from Hammer or it's Hammer Gesture Config from the Angular Platform Browser. There it is. Um, gesture, of course. Now, um, first of all, add this to your imports. So, call this with gallery model module, and then it's ready to be used. And then also, we need to add something to our providers array, which is this hammer gesture config. So, we say provide for this special class and use the class ionic gallery models dot uh, hammer config so now um, we will provide a special class for this uh, gesture config which is used by the model all right that's all for this one so let's continue with our actual home page so uh, let's make this ionic gallery and we simply need one button to trigger our action. So add a button or whatever you like or where you want your gallery to open. So open gallery, open gallery and then close it. Now we can go to our home TS and implement the function and as well our images array. So we need to pass in an array of images. Uh, let's make this type any empty array, uh, private images. And then we need to fill our array in the beginning. So let's make a simple for let i equals uh, one, lower than five and plus plus because um, I got like images from one to four. So of course, change this to your needs and then go ahead and push some images into our array. And those will be objects and you need to set the URL for each of the images. So in my case, it would be assets, images, and then dollar uh, e dot PNG and now we got the array ready and what you can do as well uh, you could also specify a title so for example let's set a title right here uh, this will be build a chat with socket io one of the courses uh, let's make a second one for the third image um, use firebase storage all right, so we've configured our images array. Um, of course, that's up to you how you do it. And then the most important part is opening our model. And therefore we need the model controller of Ionic. So go ahead, import it and use it uh, to create a new page. And normally you would now pass in a page, but we pass in the gallery model right here. And like always, we can add some information um, to the model page. And in this case, we need to set the photos, which are the actual images. 
uh, you could set something like initial slide, so the index of the initial slide, or you could also specify the close icon. Um, I will just keep it to back. This is, I think, the standard. And then go ahead, call mobile present, save everything, and hopefully our app comes up um, after it is ready. And then we see we already got this uh, nice little mobile dialog. Um, don't mind these are um, bars right here. This is just an error of Chrome I always have. But we can see we got the image and we got the title at the bottom. Uh, we can swipe through them. And if we swipe down, it would disappear. Also, if we click the button, uh, I think uh, perhaps it's arrow back. I'm not sure what the actual name was here. So now we could have a back arrow. Uh, we could also make this a close icon. Of course, that is up to the UI of your app. But it's nice that we can set this one as well. Um, what we can do as well, if you don't like the dark background, is making it a bit uh, more transparent. So we can target it using gallery modal CSS outside of page home because it's on top of the home page. It's actually um, normally you would add it to the pages CSS. Um, so we can do it here if we want to and say the background. Uh, oh, that looks nice. Not seen this before. Let's see if this works. Um, not so good. So let's do it normal way 000, zero, zero, uh, zero dot 0.5. Ah, I guess what's missing is yes, important. So now you see we got this nice little transparent background, make it darker or uh, not so dark, whatever you like. But then you get this really nice preview function uh, with gallery images. And you don't have to write any specific HTML or CSS to achieve this behavior. So that's why I really like this package. It's easy to use, straightforward, easy to integrate, and really fast with a nice UI as a result. Um, if you want a different way of doing this, perhaps also uh, some uh, zooming into the images, uh, let me know. I will try to figure something out. Um, and of course, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and also check out the ionicacademy.com if you want a great training resources for Ionic to become a more expert Ionic developer. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day and take care.